sports. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share the video if you feel the content. And don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to President Jeff88. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel if you want to hear a little bit of motivation. My bad, y'all. I got to shut my door. All right, so. um, Today's Monday, right? And I was able to sit back after Colorado got the... And they got good old-fashioned butt-kicking like Coach Prime said. You sit back and you see all the haters celebrating. And I wish I would have saved that screenshot, but somebody said, when Oregon win, they speaking for all of us. Paraphrasing a little bit, but it sound like a double entendre. Uh, reason number one, because they don't like the fact that Dion's arrogant. Or, or they, he's perceived to be arrogant, confident, they don't like his confidence. And then reason number two, they don't like the fact that Dion looked like him talking with all that confidence. So here's my response to the haters. Did they get their butts kicked? Absolutely. They were 21. They were uh, picked to lose 21 points already. And clearly they, the spread was bigger than that, but... People, it's one game. Why you? It's one game, and they've already won three games this year. I know I've said it before, and I'll keep saying that that they've already been more successful now than they were a year ago. And one thing that Coach Prime said was, he said, it's okay people making fun of him and laughing. And this is the time to beat him because this is this is the really the only chance. Because for all you haters who cannot stand Dion, it's all about recruiting. He he showed up late. He was able, you know, he he did get Kamani McLean, but he can't he couldn't necessarily land all the town he wanted to because he was too busy at Jackson State. And uh, it's just going to take a little time, but you're going to start seeing that he's going rec- he to start winning top three recruiting class after top three recruiting class. And just like I said with Nick Saban and Kirby Smart, when they first years, they had subpar seasons. Did nobody say nothing? And then when several years later, they both of the teams was in the national title. Because that's all it's about. Yeah, coaching matters, but it's all about who's out there. You could clearly tell Oregon was better matched up. Bo Nix been playing, I believe, five years. He That was his 51st start. They got multiple NFL players on their team. Like bona fide NFL players. So it just like I said, things like this takes time, man. To get a guy a chance. He only, this only, there was only, what? Fourth game, <laughs> let him get two, three recruiting classes. Remember back in the day, a coach takeover, you give him three, four years, let him get his players in and all of that. Good man, like y'all, y'all hate that man that bad that yeah, yeah. And y'all really think for the haters, I'm not talking about the people who you know they just want to watch good football, but for the haters, you really want to see this man lose when y'all clearly know he's going to be a top two. Top three recruiter, if not number one. But that's just my two cents. What y'all think?